Okay, the marketing plan. The first paragraph, paragraph A, product description. This is where you're going to describe your product in a little more detail than what you did in the executive summary. But here you're going to really try to be inspirational and get the point across as to why your market is screaming for this product, why they need this product, um, what kind of, how you're going to make their lives better, how you're going to help them improve their lives, how this is different from anything else out there, how it's positioned a little bit different. You can list uh, examples. You can say we have you know, these colors, these sizes, these variations. Um, you can list specific products um, just as a, a short list, but you don't want to go on too long with that. We're going to have an appendix that you can reference in this paragraph and say see appendix A for a list of all of our products and services. And then they can go back there and in the appendix you'll have cut sheets, spec sheets, tables, charts, drawings, graphs, whatever you can come up with. You want as much as possible, but you can list all of your products in the appendix. Right here, you just want to summarize it in an inspirational paragraph that gets people very excited about your product. The next section is your target market. Your target market, it's as simple really as what you have in here. You just have to fill in some data. So you can say your target market demographics include, and you can put age, say 18 to 25, income, over forty thousand or maybe forty thousand to sixty five thousand dollars education at least high school if you don't care about gender occupation religion race you don't have to put those in there just delete it and, and get them out you don't have to put more in there than actually matters but you do want to be as specific as possible then you get down to something called psychographics and psychographics is kind of the lifestyle personality and values of your best customer. So imagine you're up and running your business and in through the door or on the telephone or through the website your ideal customer comes calling for your products. What is this person like? Um, is their lifestyle that they are they're go-getters that they're seeking out thrill in life so you know maybe you sell um, repelling products so these people these are people that jump off of cliffs or climb up and down cliff walls or bridges um, so they're aggressive in their personality, they're thrill seekers, and maybe what they value is really enjoying life. You know, so think about your customers. What do they value? You know, if you were a coffee shop, they value high quality coffee. They value intellectual conversation. Um, their lifestyle is they're they're calm, they're relaxed. You know, they're seeking connection with other people. Their personality is maybe they're a little introverted. You know, it depends. Whatever you're looking at, just try to write it down here so you can really understand your market. But more importantly, you want your audience for this business plan to know that you understand your market. Okay, then this, this next paragraph right here, based on the research, on the market research, um, you want to list down your best research results on how many people are in this target market. So you can go to websites like infousa.com census.gov and actually go in and type in some of these demographics including your city and geographic location and it'll tell you exactly how many people are in that area because then what you want to do is say okay if there's 70,000 people in my target market that are right here available to me I only need to get one in a thousand to sign up every month for my product or whatever it is and if you can spell it out and say I only need a small percentage in order to meet my financials you put that right here then you have primary research results and also I should point out you should have secondary research in here um, and this is a summary of some of the things that are in the paragraph C but you just want to put in here very quickly um, we've done some research and X percent of people say they would pay pay us for these products that they would really want these products they are extremely excited about our products um, and then the secondary research when you're going out on the internet and just gathering some data and we'll talk about that here in the market research so paragraph C the market research